essentially, as we know, aesthetics in the, in the, anterior, in the anterior maxilla is really it's a major issue. And when we're dealing with multiple implants, the issue doesn't, the issue doesn't magnify uh, tenfold, it magnifies a hundredfold, and our problems become bigger and bigger and bigger. And the problems associated with are absolutely huge. There's been so much growth over the last few years about how we, how we do our techniques, whether we do immediate, whether we do delayed, whether you do uh, contour augmentations. There's so much uh, technology that's coming. Hertzler's coming out with socket shield techniques. Uh, we've got uh, Uli Grinder with, uh, with the connective tissue grafting at the same time, and, and all sorts of wonderful techniques that are, that are coming out to help us and develop these techniques that we have. Now, obviously, we know buccopalatal tissue collapse. It's all kind of stuff we know. We know about gingival recession. This has been highlighted over the last few years. Long-term aesthetic success, it's really something that's been drummed into us. And we know that this is a problem. But our biggest issue really is the loss of papilla. And that loss of papilla often takes place when we start having multi-unit teeth, multi-unit uh, restorations in the anterior zone. And that's really where we kind of all fall short. And, you know, I think this is the kind of case uh, we were talking, uh, Steve Eckert was talking about a guy who said, uh, God, me, at the speaker training yesterday. This is the kind of case where we all realize we're not God and we just work for him. All right, under no, under no, under no illusions. All right, this is really the one that brings us back to earth. It's the one that makes us realize that there's still a lot, of, there's still a lot that we don't know and still a lot, a lot of way that we need to go. So what I want to do is I want to take you through this case that we've been treating in our practice, a stunning lady that we've been treating in our practice uh, since 2006. And the restorative work is done by my, my partner and colleague, Dion de Villiers, and I left out there, and I must mention, also by FK Dental. They're the only, uh, they're the only lab in Cape Town, I believe. Okay, <laughs> by Grand Peak. <laughs> He's here also tonight. Um, so all the restorative work was done by him.